Okay, good day. This is another example on the Indica equation. Actually, I'll be doing this series for a while, and I'll be solving more of complex uh, uh, Indica equation. Now, looking up here, we have uh, if nine raised to power two x plus one equals eight. I mean, eighty one raised to power x minus two all over three raised to power x. Find x. Now, first thing first we need to look at here is now we recognize that this is an indices. Now, indices that bears an unknown uh, uh, variable, which is x. Now, looking at this now, we figure out the common uh, factor in this expression. Now, looking at this now, we, we, we can see we have 9 here. We have 81 here and we have 3 here. Now, what is the common factor between this? Now, we can see it is 3. Now, now since all of them have the common factor of 3, now, what we need to do now is to change this 9 to a base of 3, change 81 to a base of 3, and since we are having a base of 3 here, this is not necessary, so we can just leave this at that. Now, as such, how do we get started? Now, from this here now, we can see here, that this is 3 raised to power 2 into bracket 2x plus 1 now equals to now for it one that will be 3 raised to power 4 yeah which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 this is 9 times 9 which is what 81 so we have that now here to the power of x minus 2 now everything all over 3 raised to the power x. Now the reason why we said to make it a common factor so that it will be more easier for us to simplify. Now let us open this bracket here. So here we have that 3 raised to the power 2 times 2x, we have a 4x. Now 2 times 1, we have what 2. Now which equals to, now opening this bracket here, 4 times x, we have 3, sorry, uh, write down the base. Now, 4 times x, we have 4x. Then 4 times minus uh, 2, we have minus 8. Now, this over what? 3x. Now, take note that this is a fraction. Now, let us make it a linear expression. Now, as such, now, what do we need to do here? Now, we can now say this is 3 raised to the power 4x uh, plus 2. Then, equals to 3 raised to the power 4 x minus uh, 8. Now, this is something I've seen times 1 over 3 raised to the power what? x. And you know, in the law of indices, when you have 1 over a term or probably a number, now it's something I've seen. Now, let us say, let, let us say 1 over x. Now, this is a fraction. Now, putting it in, a, in, in this uh, indicator form here, we cannot say this is x raised to the power minus 1. Now, the same thing, 1 over 2 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power minus 1. 1 over 10 is the same thing as 10 raised to the power minus 1. So, if we now implement this rule here, if we now implement this rule here, so here we have, uh, this is 3 raised to the power 4x plus 2 now equals that 3 raised to power 4x uh, minus 8 then times 3 raised to power minus x yes all right so with this now you can see we now have a common base so we can now reconcile this together so here we have a uh, this is 3 raised to power 4x plus 2 now equals we cannot see that we have a common base here since we have a common base now we can re re reconcile both of them as such now now this power now because of uh, this multiplication sign we now add the power but take note this is a minus sign so here we now have that this is 3 raised to power 4x minus 8 now plus then minus x okay so as such now this is 3 raised to the power 4x plus 2 equals 3 raised to the power 4x then minus 8 now this plus times uh, minus will give us minus we have what minus 
x so okay now as such now we can now see, we, we can now see that at the left hand side and the right hand side we have a common base of three so as such now we can now cancel out so here we can now bring down, down the power 4x plus 2 equals 4x uh, minus 8 minus x now let us collect like them let's start from this one first 4x plus 2 equals 4x take note minus minus x minus 8 so here you have 4x plus 2 equals 4x minus uh, x we give us uh, 3x minus 8 so with this now we can now collect like them we transpose this one over to this side and transpose 2 over to this side take note that this x this one is plus here and as it's crossing over here it becomes minus our 2 as it's crossing over to the other side it becomes minus because it's having plus here so here we have the 4x now minus uh, 3x coming over here we have minus 3x then equals to minus 8 take note this 3 mustn't go with this minus now the sign in front of this 3x is plus and the sign in front of 8 is minus so as my uh, 3x is going it's actually going with is invisible plus now and this 2 also is going with this positive sign so here what next what next what next okay so our 2 here moves to the right hand side and becomes what minus now 4x minus 3x it gives us minus uh okay sorry this is x then equals minus 8 minus 2 will give us minus 10 so this is the value of x all right thank you